everyone so for today we will be having our module 4 wherein I'll be discussing to you the components and all of the things that you need to know regarding our module 4 so here you will see our first page wherein what are the things that we will be focusing is number one understand the use of cascading style sheets as separate documents in creating a web page next is identify the CSS style properties three implement graphical effects and transformation by using the cascading style sheets properties and apply the style to block elements by using CSS so CSS stands for cascading style sheets so it is the main program or main language that we will use to design our web page so what will be our assessment for the last module of the first grading so for first assessment or fourth assessment rather sorry will be we're going to rewrite the code in part two let's create so as you see from module one to four we are always making or having a last part where you're going to create a code with a certain parameter so be uh, be sure that you're always going to create this last part because it is the my way to know if you are already familiar with the codes that we are using in HTML okay so in part one the activity will require you to rewrite an HTML document with a CSS document so later on you will see what is that part one and part two let's create it will be requiring you again to create an HTML file and CSS, doc CSS document with the uh, given parameters in the last page okay so at the next column you will see the rubrics for part two let's create so all in all you would be gaining here 30 points for the fourth assessment so let's proceed so we will be giving two weeks again to answer this module and between October 12 to 16 and October 19 to 23 and you would see the distribution of tasks that you could do during this uh, span of time okay so task number one let's review here uh, you're going to review a website common websites wherein you would see here number one you have Facebook you have Twitter for number two you have Instagram for number three and TikTok for the number four and last one is YouTube for the item number five so as you see here you would put your comment in the box at the left side of the picture of the image and you would see there down there that there are five stars so if you're going to rate uh, the website depending on the design or depending on your taste of design you would be shading the stars depending on what you want to rate the website okay so that is for task number one next here at reading number one you would be uh, walk through to the different uh, meanings different uses of cascading style sheets so I'll be showing you why does the CSS or cascading style sheets very important to a web page so as you see here we can use these three following advantages why the CSS is implemented with HTML in you in creating a website so here we have efficiency consistency and extensibility so efficiency because the design will be efficiently transferred to the HTML file in the browser consistency because the design of this uh, CSS can be used in the different platform in web designing and extensibility because CSS codes are very very vast that we're in you can explore different designs using CSS okay so here you just read how to use CSS rule set I will be showing you how to use CSS so CSS is a separate file in a HTML file pero hindi pa rin po mawawala yung HTML file niyo kung may CSS file kayo 
For example, I'll be showing you an example, okay? So let me open first a notepad. So as you see here, I already created a sample website or a sample notepad wherein I typed our uh, our template. So let me just first uh, enlarge this one. So I'll be making this big for you to be able to see the code. So as you see here, we have our template. But you would be noticing a new tag wherein we are linking a style.css component in our web page. So this one will be created separately but in the same folder of the HTML file. So for example, I'm going to save this one. So this is already saved. But we're going to go to file. Then save as. Then we go to save as dot html okay so just save this one i already saved this one so i'm just going to replace it and i will go to documents so when i because i save it into my documents dun ko dapat siya makita so when i open this one this is a typical uh css uh, this is this is a typical html page so hi this is my first site with cascading style sheets so, ito ay typical lang without CSS. So, ano ba yung epekto ng CSS pag ginamit natin siya sa isang website? So, dito, you would see, I'll be creating a new file. Okay? So, let's open again a new notepad para makita ninyo. So, I'll go to file, then new. So, when you're going to use CSS, Ganito lang nyo siya gagawin. So, makikita ninyo dito sa part uh, na to, page 4, CSS rule set. H1 will be the selector. Declaration is the color or font size. Then, blue is the value. So, property and value lang tayo palagi. So, this whole line is a declaration. Then, color is the property. And value is, uh, for example, a specific color, which is blue. For example, font size is the property, then 12px is the value. So, 12px stands for 12 pixels. So, when I'm going to use this one, or ito mismo yung ilalagay ko dun sa CSS file natin. So, sa notepad nyo rin siya gagawin. So, when I open notepad, we will just be going to, copy this one, so h1, this is the selector. Walang template pagdating sa CSS. Just You just need to identify your selector. So, here's your selector. And next, you put it in another line. Then, op create a curly braces. So, these are curly braces na ilalagay ninyo. Then, you put first a property. Ano yung property na gusto mong baguhin? So, for example, I want to change the property of the color. So, color. Then, next, we will be putting uh, the value of the color that we want. So, blue. Then, this is the period or this sign is the most important thing because kung wala ito, hindi ito mababasa ng inyong website. So, you're using this uh, this sign for you to be able to create the uh, declaration properly. Paano nyo siya isi-save? Okay, so isi-save nyo siya just like how you save the HTML file. Pero, tandaan ninyo kung ano ang pinangalan ninyo doon sa ating HTML file. So, ang pinangalan ko doon ay style.css. So, when I'm going to save this, dapat nandun din siya sa same file directory kung saan ko siya nilagay. So, nandun siya sa documents, yung file ko na HTML. So, style.css. So, if you have an HTML file, the file extension name is .html. Pag style or cascading style sheets, dapat .css naman. So, just click save. 
Then you have your CSS file. I'll be opening the document first para makita ninyo. So here, when I open this to Notepad, I will be opening this to Notepad first para makita ninyo that I named the that I named the file style.css so I kanina nakita ninyo I named the CSS file style.css so, so itong tag na to will be the one to link to your CSS file so pinangalanan natin siya kanina na style.css so dapat kung nasaan yung style.css dun nyo rin sinave tong HTML file ninyo so when I'm going to open the website you would see the difference. Okay? As you see here, ito yung una natin. Wala pang CSS. Okay? Then, nung, mag- nung nag-link tayo ng CSS, naging ganito na yung kanyang itsura. So, you control the color of the font, you control also the font size. So, there are a lot of CSS properties that we are going to use throughout the next grading. Doon tayo mag-focus sa CSS. Okay? So, that is CSS rule set. So, that is the use of uh, the selector. So, as you see here, again, when you are going to create a declaration, so, first property, then colon, then the value, then semicolon. So, that is how you declare in CSS. Here, at task number 2, let's identify what is the correct CSS that can be used in this kind of HTML file. So, for example, nakita ninyo dito, H1, uh, Hello World. So, ito yung kinalabasan niya. Uh, Hello World. Pero, color blue yung color ng font. Ano kaya yung font size nito? Default kaya? O yung... Uh, nilagyan niya kaya ito ng font size o wala. So, dito naman sa paragraph, nakita nyo din, naging red yung kanyang color. So, ano kaya yung CSS niya? So, islalagay ninyo yung sagot ninyo dito sa box na to. So, write your CSS here. You will put the correct CSS ID, uh, identification or CSS code here at the box. So, maikli lang naman yun. Ito nyo siya ilalagay. Okay? Sa box na ito. So, here at the final task, we would be seeing the part 1. So, you're going to rewrite the code. So, just in directions, you would see, you would be uh, checking the guidelines again at the first page. So, you can also refer to reading 1 and 2 to review your answers and finalize your answers. Okay? So, here, dito sa HTML code, hahanapin ninyo yung mali. Then, Pag na-identify nyo na yung mali, i-rewrite nyo siya sa baba. Lahat ng mali ay itatama na dito sa baba. Same goes with the CSS code here. At the right column, you will identify what is the uh, wrong code, then rewrite it properly underneath the table. Okay, so that is for part 1. Then, for part 2, you would see here, I inserted our new template wherein there is a, another tag in the head part of our HTML template. So, link href, so style.css. So, for here, you have the parameters wherein, for example, the title must be A4 introductions to CSS. So, the header must be H1. And, ang header will be containing how can I protect myself. Then, your paragraph must contain 3 to 5 sentences of your own opinion on how you can protect yourself during this pandemic. So, sa H1, sa CSS na gagawin ninyo, dapat ang H1 ay color blue at ang paragraph ninyo will be in red. Okay? So, that is the parameters. So, if you want to try... This one, uh, if you want to try the code, if it is working or not, you can follow these steps and paano nyo siya isi-save, paano nyo siya gagawin sa ating 
notepad. So, this will be your uh, third web page na gagawin. So, pag nagawa ninyo, I am encouraging you for bonus points na isend nyo sa akin sa email. Okay? Sa email ko, which is rp dot avila at ntc dot edu dot ph so I'll be repeating it for bonus points pwede nyo isend yung final output ninyo sa email ko wherein it is in rp dot avila at ntc dot edu dot ph okay so that is the final part of our module 4 and for the next page dito nyo pwede isulat yung html code ninyo and yung CSS code ninyo. Okay, so that is all for this module 4. I will see you on the next one.